prefer a sweaty buddy. A sweaty buddy. It's hot in here. What a glorious mod! It makes me sick! It's really nice and warm out today. So we decided to walk around this island park. Nick, what is it called? It's called Margaret Island. Yes. It's massive. Yes, and today it's like, I think it's over 65 degrees, so no jackets for us. Mm. Woo! Margaret Island is an island that is in the middle of the Danube River. It can be accessed at the middle of the Margaret Bridge. Quiet walks, flower gardens, romantic ruins, and century-old trees make up this recreational spot that's located in the heart of Budapest. The whole island is about two and a half kilometers long, 500 meters wide, and has a running track measuring 5.35 kilometers. Nick and I were able to bike around the whole island in a fairly short amount of time, and it was nice there because there weren't any cars that we had a battle with. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir, do you know of anywhere good to eat around here? Excuse me, sir. Sir, I just have a question. A moment of your time, please. Please, please, please. So we rented bikes. It only took us like 10 minutes to unlock these things. But we're, we're really moving now. <laughs> oh God, I gotta go. nice. I'm happy we're riding bikes outside. I feel like we just did Peloton for a while and then we sold our bikes and then we moved across country and then we moved across the ocean and here we are. So no time for bike riding until now. Until now. We'll do this more often and we might be moving to a city in the near future where the main transportation is bicycles. Comment below if you think you know what city we're gonna move to. Yeah, it got really warm. I'm sweaty. Yeah, the bike ride was fun, uh, but it's time to go home. I was gonna say, it's like, I feel like it's like 70 degrees, right? And honestly, it might be warmer in the sun, but you know, that's more 68. cardio. 68. Okay, well, we'll just pretend it's hotter, but that's a lot more cardio than I've done in a while. Makes me fit a bit like a sweaty Betty. Yeah, a sweaty Betty. Yeah. Sweaty Betty. Yeah. Coming from Chicago, we're no strangers to taking public transit, but I wanted to take a bit to acknowledge how amazing the transit system is here in Budapest. Buying tickets was super easy at these kiosks, which were at most stations. They even have options for English as well as some other languages. We bought a monthly pass since we were gonna be here for about a month and it was a bit cheaper, but there's options for weekly or daily passes as well. When buying passes, just make sure that you have your passport number handy as it gets attached to your ticket. From there, just tap your card on the terminal and you're good to go. We also were able to enjoy some other forms of getting around. Along with the bikes from earlier, it was easy to ride these tier scooters which were available in many places around the city. For getting to and from the airport, we chose Bolt to get there quickly and cheaply. So many people told us to avoid taxis unless it's a Bolt taxi, so we downloaded the app right away and started using it. Well, we officially were waiting for our Airbnb host to check us out of this place. And then of course, after we wait like an hour, they're like, uh, just leave the place unlocked and leave the keys on the kitchen table. And we're like, cool. we're hungry. We're hungry, but great. So we're leaving Budapest now and on to the next adventure. Bye. Overall, we were able to very efficiently get around Budapest and really enjoyed our time here. Up next, we're taking a week trip to Italy, so make sure you hit subscribe and catch us in the next video. See ya!
Before we go, here's some extra bits from our trip that didn't quite make the cut. Well, this is what happens when Nobu knows it's your anniversary. How do you feel? I have a to feel embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. How long is this going for? Happy anniversary, babe. <laughs> we were on a walk and I was really upset and the universe knew that I was upset so it sent a great gift to me and we were walking past a store and guess what I found? Flaming Hot Cheetos. We're in Budapest right now and I haven't had Flaming Hot Cheetos in a couple of months and I'm currently going through withdrawal of these. This is my favorite American thing in the whole entire world. I don't care if you think it's gross, I think they're delicious. I was literally texting my brother today being like, hey, you know, if you send me a package, put some of these in there. Um, the only thing I will point out is that this cost about 3,894 in, which is about $10. So let's just call it double the price that it would be. But I'm not even mad. I'm not mad that this cost $10. Also, technically, my husband paid for it, so even more so not mad. But my mouth, I just salivated so hard. Oh. Dude, come on. Have a look at this gorgeousness. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Yep, I needed this. This is so worth $10. There you go. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally like, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out. And what about, I have more ingredients. We can mix more, so don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Are you going to try to flip it? Of course. <laughs> and so, and the Goodbye, Budapest. It's been real. It's been fun. I think it's time we head out.